this piece of music. It's called A Short Ride in a Fast Machine. Fran, what does it make you think of? It makes me think that I'm going on a short ride in a fast machine. Yes, that's exactly why it's called that. It was written by someone called John Adams. Fran, why are you making holes in a carrot? Because we're going to use these to discover how woodwind instruments like these work. What's a carrot got to do with woodwind instruments? You will see. I'm not sure what this carrot business is all about, but this definitely isn't a carrot. Obviously, it's a clarinet, which belongs to the family of woodwind instruments. Nice. And this is a recorder, and it also belongs to the woodwind family. Lovely, but a clarinet wins every single time. You know, simple woodwind instruments were first played as far back as 20,000 years ago. And these Chinese woodwind instruments are about a thousand years old. And, as you'll see, Fran, they are not carrots either. The clarinet and the recorder make musical sounds in different ways. When Fran blows into her recorder, the air is forced through a narrow passage called the windway and hits something called the labium. Watch what's happening in slow motion. The stream of air is flicking back and forth. One moment the air is above the labium, the next it's below it. This movement, which is actually happening really quickly, makes the air inside the recorder vibrate. This is what makes sound waves that we can hear. And the Irish whistle, that works in a similar way. <coughs> Beautiful. And at the other end of the scale is the amazing Australian didgeridoo. <laughs> a clarinet is called a reed instrument. That's because it has got something called a reed attached to the mouthpiece. And they're called reeds because they used to be made from plants called reeds. Today, a reed is a very thin piece of material that vibrates against the mouthpiece when you blow over it. This vibration makes the air inside the clarinet vibrate too. That creates sound waves and the notes that you hear. OK, so that's how a clarinet and a recorder make a single sound. The question is, how do we make them play lots of different notes? It all depends on how much air in the instrument is vibrating. And we can demonstrate how this works with just some everyday drinking straws. So, Greg, here's yours. Thanks. And what you need to do is pinch the end to make a mouthpiece. Then you cut the corners off to make it into a point. Now, if you do this at home, do be careful with the scissors. Have you done it? Yep. Now, all you've got to do is blow. <laughs> good, good. Now, cut a little bit off the end of the straw and try it again. Now, because we've cut a bit off, that means the straw is shorter and so there's less air inside it. And because there's less air vibrating, the note has gone higher. It has what we call a higher pitch. Now, cut a little bit more off. OK. Yep. And then play it. And it's got a higher pitch still. Now, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Love it! Right, right, so all I have to do to make my clarinet play a higher note is... <sighs> cut it in half. Uh, no. Be funny, though. It, it might be, but it would also ruin your clarinet. OK. Woodwind instruments have a series of holes along the tube. We can change the amount of air that's vibrating inside by covering the holes up. So, if we cover all the holes in a recorder, that means there's a lot of air vibrating in the tube because it can't escape through the holes. And the result is a note with a low pitch. If I cover up just one hole, that means the air can escape. And so less air vibrates and this makes a note with a higher pitch. Right, I've got it. Your clarinet has holes in it too, but it works a bit different because you use keys to cover them up. Exactly. Show off. Right, you might think that all woodwind instruments are made of wood, but they're not. Saxophones are made of metal and recorders can be plastic. In fact, you can make woodwind instruments out of all sorts of things, even a carrot. Ah, oh, finally, I was wondering when the carrot would crop up. All you have to do to make a woodwind instrument is make something with a space inside that is full of air that can vibrate. So, to make my musical carrot, I've hollowed out its centre 
like that, and I've just made a series of holes in a row. Right. These little holes line up with the big hole that's down the middle. Okay. And you might need a grown-up to help you with that bit. Next, we take half a pepper and stick it on one end, and a mouthpiece and stick it on the other. This is getting even more bonkers. And there, you have one complete musical carrot. <laughs> It, it is really cool. It, it works though, doesn't it? Hey, Fran, here's something interesting. <coughs> Around 4,000 years ago, if you were a shepherd knocking about in ancient Greece, minding your flock, you could pass the time by playing your pan pipes. Greg, <coughs> I don't know what to do with you. But what we can do is we... We can make our own instrument out of a balloon and a cardboard tube. I've called it a balloon clarinet. Hmm. And to make your own balloon clarinet, you need a balloon, obviously, and you chop off the big end of the balloon and secure the small end to a little bit of plastic piping. Get a grown-up to help you if you need. And then, with this open part here, you attach this onto a cardboard tube. And you've got to secure it in place with an elastic band, just like this. And then, you can take that one, Greg. Okay. I'll take this one. And to play it, you simply blow. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? And what's happening here is the balloon is acting like the reed that you saw on Greg's clarinet. And here you can actually see the vibrations as you play it. Look. Uh, they sound a bit like car horns, don't they? They do, which means they'll be great instruments to join in with a short ride and a fast machine. Oh, I see what you've done there. Come yeah, on, let's, let's go. Do it. <laughs> 